In this video, we're gonna be breaking down how to create that million dollar body that you want. Now, of course, this is subjective. What the hell is a million dollar body? What is a million dollar body for me might not be for you. For somebody, it might just be to drop some body fat. For somebody else, it might just be to build some muscle. And it might be both. But ultimately, we can kind of agree from society what people think a million dollar body should look like. And ultimately, it comes down to having basically good health, great shape, low body fat, and bringing up areas of the body which may be lagging, where you feel may be inadequate. So in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down the steps that really you can take. And there isn't really that many steps, it's just a matter of actually just doing it. So the diet is the main thing overall. It accounts for like 80 to 90% of your results. As you probably know the main thing is basically depending on your goal is going to be your calorie intake if you're looking to drop body fat you need to be in a calorie deficit if you're looking to build muscle solely you want to be in a small surplus and even if you're looking to drop body fat while building muscle this is still possible in a calorie deficit providing your training and your diet is set up correctly now obviously calories per person are going to vary and you're going to need to find that out yourself and what I mean is, not a calorie calculator, you're going to want to start tracking your calories every single day as accurately as possible. You're gonna to want to start tracking your activity. And you're gonna to want to start tracking your weight and looking in the mirror. After a week of doing this, you can figure out what your average calories are over the week and activity and your average weight. And based off this data, you can come up with an idea of what you need to do or change moving forward long term roughly 80 percent of the majority of your diet should come from natural whole foods which basically have all your vitamins and minerals fibers all of that stuff which is going to keep you healthy going to keep you fuller for longer and if this is going to be a long-term thing basically you're not going to be able to cut out the stuff that you like so be sure that you're fitting that in with your calories and long term it's going to feel more of a breeze to get to your goal and ultimately, it's not gonna make that much of a difference in how you look. In fact, it's not gonna make a difference at all. As long as you're hitting your calories, the ultimate goal is to manipulate this diet so that it feels like you're not actually on a diet. In terms of protein, just look to hit 0.82 grams per pound of body weight, or one gram per pound, if you want to simplify it, depending how much body fat you have. You're not gonna to want to have 300 grams of protein if you're 300 pounds. In terms of resistance training, this is the only way to actually build muscle. And basically, this is going to help improve your body shape, your body composition, and you're going to look and feel better with and without clothes. People just way over complicate things. Basically, people are sat there doing nothing, and they're looking for the perfect workout, the perfect rep range, the perfect rest period. Just start lifting weights and make sure your form's good because you don't want to be getting injured. Once you've got your form down and technique, basically you want to start getting stronger. It's as simple as that. Doing something is better than nothing. And if you're new to this, you can expect something called newbie gains, where basically in the first zero to six months to a year, you can basically start building muscle very, very easily because of the body's adaptation. Basically, you can see improvements at a very, very rapid rate. Now, in terms of exercises, you don't need to go too crazy. Any form of resistance on the muscle is going to cause muscle tension. And over time, that is what actually builds muscle. So there isn't really a correct or right exercise for it. But if you wanted to follow the, let's just say the standard bodybuilding exercises, you'll find that most of these exercises come in two forms, the dumbbell and the barbell. And each variation offers different benefits. Let's just say you're doing bench press, you can do that as barbell or dumbbell. Let's just say you're doing back rows, you can do that as barbell and dumbbell. If you were just to start doing bench press, pull-ups, rows, walking lunges, squats, these exercises are going to start building muscle. Now, ultimately, a lot of people do not have a problem with knowing what to do. It all comes down to execution. 